All right, so the first step as the second host is to just double check and make sure that your uh, partner, the first host, is has completed and uploaded the script. And also you need to know what show number you're doing. So let's say this is show number one. So what I'm going to do is first go to the Dropbox application. They're located on the bottom side. You saw me kind of open it there. And then uh, from there, you're going to look in kind of the recent folder. Now, typically, once something's up, it'll probably be towards the top up here. Uh, in this case, I'm loading show one. So I'm loading this one on the bottom. Uh, but again, usually it's going to be on the very top. Please make sure to write the show number when you're uh, uploading. So host one, make sure to put the show number because a lot of times you'll notice like a lot of people will do multiple files. So sometimes we get confused with which one in this case, Emma uh, uploaded. So it's helpful to kind of use the show number. So right up here, I got show 12 or we'll use that one. So I click on it and then in the upper right corner, you'll see kind of the three dots, uh, the kind of menu there. You click on that and you're going to move it. You are then going to move it into prompter duo. Uh, it is possible that um, that uh, you might have to like go back if it's showing that it's already in a different file, but usually it prompts up this screen. You're looking for the prompter duo folder and you're going to hit move. Now, right now, I already have moved it in there when I was testing it. So it's giving me uh, basically uh, uh, an error message here saying that I've already moved it. But uh, once it's done, then you can just cancel out of there. Then you completely close out of Dropbox and then you can open Prompter Duo. So once in Prompter Duo, then you'll see where it says Dropbox on the bottom portion of the menu. So click on that. And then you're going to click where it says Dropbox on the top with the little carrot button right there. And then you're going to look for that show name. So once, again, that will show 12, so you'll see it at the bottom. And usually you'll see it, they'll kinda, it's by time, so it always shows whatever was uploaded last. So click on that, and then it'll just kind of give you the text. Uh, and just always a good good idea just to double check it, make sure that it sounds like it's, or looks like it's uh, from the right date, so you have the right file. And then the upper right corner, you'll see kind of that up link button, click on that, and then you'll add it to documents. Once it's added, you'll hit OK, and then on the bottom left, you'll see that documents little button, you click on that and then you'll see show 12. And from here, you just press it and it will begin. Now, there's, there's also a few things you can do with this. Obviously, um, we're, we're gonna have one of, your, one of the producers will be running it during the show, but if the text is too small, what you can do is go into settings and you can kind of adjust not only the text, but also the speed. So I'll show you text first. So um, the text you just, go down to display and it'll be font. So click on font. If you wanna make it bigger, usually bigger the better. Obviously there, it gets to be too big sometimes, but I'd say kind of in that 54, 56 range, somewhere around there is usually a good one to put it on. And then I'll go back and I'm gonna change the speed. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. It was kind of slow. So I'm gonna speed it up to like a four. And it's always a good idea to kind of play around with it before the show just to see um, and kind of get a feel if it's the right speed. Then you, we want you kind of talking at kind of the kind of a normal pace. You don't want to be rushed. You don't want to be too slow. So you can kind of play around with it, find that right speed, and then you're set to go to record your show.